Wow, finally a break from studies. Hey, look at the ball field out here. Hi, Dr. Romano. I, I'm taking a break. Want to play a little ball, a little hard ball? ball? Come over here. I'll play some ball with you, a little hard ball. Hard ball? What, what kind of problems you got going on here, Dr. Romano? Oh, this is some biology. I'm going to do a little biology. Normally I do chemistry. I think we should do a really good bio question I made up. That's that destroyer worthy, but I'll do it here for you instead. A man is hemophiliac and has a child with a woman who is a carrier for both pathologies, hemophilia and colorblindness. If the child is a girl, what are the chances for her to be phenotypically normal? This is a tricky question. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to set up a pun and square. We first write the male as XY, of course. I put a little H, meaning that that's the gene that carries hemophilia. And then we write the woman. The woman is going to be XC, XH, because she's a carrier. So only one of the X's has the gene that's going to cause, he cause color blindness and the other gene for hemophilia. Now, what I do is I do my Punnett square, and I get these four results. By crossing the first one, XH, with XC, we get the first pair. Then we cross XH, XH, the second pair. And we do it for the Y chromosome to the XC and the Y chromosome to the XH. Now, when we examine the progeny, we look and we see that of the offspring, of these offspring, 25% will be colorblind boys. And that would be illustrated here. Of the offspring, 25% will represent boys that are hemophiliac. Likewise, of the offspring, 25% will be girls who would be hemophiliac and colorblind carriers, as you can see. And we can see here, 25% being of the offspring would be girls who are hemophiliac. Now, you got to be careful. But let's, let's read the question. If the child is a girl, so if the child is a girl, let's just focus on these two here. Okay. And as you can see, of the girls, you can either be a girl who's got the disease or a girl who's just a carrier. But that would mean that she would be phenotypically normal. So of the girls, as you can see, 50% would be the chance to be phenotypically normal. So the correct answer is 50%. That's a really good question because in this example, you had two pathologies at once to deal with. I hope that gives you a good indication of how to go about doing these problems. Dr. Mono, that problem is tricky. Do I have to know that for the dad? No, I just put this here for my goddamn health. Good day to you. She's Dr. Romano. I was just asking, can I bring you back a snack? Good day to you, sir. Good day to you.